session this weekend. Uh, it is my pleasure as pastor to be able to host you with honor and glory. Amen. Amen. To be able to uh, assist you in whatever you need. Of course, as you came in, you know, the bathrooms are up front. Uh, we also have an extra one here. If those are full, the corridor here will be to your right, both men and women. But we're glad to be here tonight. Amen. 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 I mean, I said we're glad to be here tonight. Amen. I was glad when they said that to me. You know, there ain't too many places you ought to be glad, but church ought to be one of them. I mean, church ought to be one of those places where you're just glad to go. Where you're just happy to be in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I imagine today if we get a little stirred up by the Holy Ghost, I imagine that God might do something wonderful in our lives. Amen. Not only has he saved us by his grace, but he might pour down an extra blessing that we might be a blessing to somebody else. Amen. I don't believe in coming in the house of God like it's a funeral. Amen. And even at funerals, we try to get people up out of their seat, don't we? So I'm telling you right now, we don't serve a dead God. We don't serve a God of wood and stone. But we serve a God that's willing and able. A God that's worthy of all our praise. We're going to ask our labor lead this, to this evening to open up for us. And we're going to ask them to lead us in a song and a scripture and prayer. And I just want everybody to be able to testify. Amen. And tell of the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on, Amen. Amen. Amen.
come to do. Amen? Amen. Thank you but we come to lift up Jesus. Amen? And I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do something a little bit different. Amen? I got a great musician. I got some great musicians around him. I got a great brother back here singing, Brother Freddie Murchison. And uh, when it comes to service uh, at Mount Calvary, oh, we do it. And we love we love the Spirit High Falls. So I'm going to ask Brother Freddie if he would take us back for a moment. And I want all of us to join in and give God some praise with him. Amen? Amen. I know we come to have a good time in the Spirit. Amen?
we're going to ask that our trustees come and take the Deep River trustees. They will come, we're going to lift our offering, we'll get that out of the way, and then we'll have a, another selection. But while the offering's been taken, I'm going to ask the speakers to come up, the preachers to come on up here. Um, come on up. So in our offering, we're going to give you a little marching music. And we're going to ask that the, the ushers, when they come down, that you follow behind them and circle out and go back to your seat, okay? So we're going to allow... Our families to come on in. It's all right. It's all right. You at home. Don't worry about that. You're all right. I'll stand. We're going to wait for the usher to return to their position and then we will. So we're going to ask the ushers to come down. Please follow behind the ushers and bring your offering to the Lord.
Precious Lord, our refuge, we thank you for the offering tonight. Most of all, we thank you for the hearts that gave the Lord God, those that have an interest in your kingdom, those that want to see it to succeed, those that are sacrificing whatever they may have in order that your kingdom may be lifted up. And so, Lord, I ask that you look upon that giver, O oh Lord God, and that you continue to bless them, O oh Heavenly Father, that they may continue to work with you, Lord God, in building your kingdom, in glorifying Christ. So thank you tonight, dear Lord God, for the many hearts and the many offerings. We thank you in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you all. Let us all sit down in the presence of the Lord. And those of you that want to sing, y'all can come on up. While we got it rolling, or y'all can stay right where you at. Uh, okay. Okay. And so, from my understanding, we have the choir here. So, please come on up. All you all have a child, come on up. Help us all out. Let's all worship together. Amen.
hear me out of this one. All right, so at this time, it's preaching time, amen? Yeah. And since it's preaching time, we have two men that are going to come forth and preach the word. Amen. The first man, the first preacher is Reverend Charles Johnson. He's been married for 44 years. He has one son and one granddaughter. He's a member of Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church, and he's been here for 15 years, amen? I know him to be a man. After a selection from this great choir, the next voice you will hear is Reverend Charles Johnson. But before I do that, let me let me set the stage for you. You have 18 minutes, and that includes your protocol and your message. If you go after, if you go past 18 minutes, you're gonna hear me say, "Bring it on home. Bring it on home. Bring it on home." Amen. Amen.
the Lord. It's so good to be back in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. God is good. God is here in my life. I give him praise and glory on tonight. Every heart in the building. We give glory to honor to our moderator, uh, Pastor Gray, and our union president, uh, my, my, which is my pastor. Yes. To the assistant, to every heart in the building. Amen. I give God praise for you tonight. Amen. We're all important tonight. That's right. Amen. Amen. I don't mean to stand before you long tonight, but we want to let God have his way. Right. Let's bow your heads a minute. Heavenly Father, we come tonight humble as we know how. Yes, Lord. Lord, thanking you for the word tonight, oh God. Amen. It's going to minister to all our hearts tonight. Amen. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this yes. opportunity. Yes. You've been so good to us, oh God. Yes. So merciful, yes. long-suffering. Yes. We, we said thank you tonight. Yes. Now, Lord, just have thy way tonight. Yes. Let your word go out and minister to our hearts tonight, yes. oh God. Yes. We thank you, Father, yes. for this opportunity. Thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You find me tonight reading in Psalms, the 30th chapter. I give a place. And we'll be in. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to read just verse 4 here, and then we'll go ahead and get started. It says, Praise, sing praises to the Lord, you saints of his. And give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name, his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, but his favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And my subject is the joy of the Lord is my strength. Let's look at that word joy for a minute. Joy. Glad praise or worship, a state of happiness, a good feeling, joy, and the joy of the, my, of the joy of my life, the joy of the Lord is my strength. We find here in Psalms here, uh, it's about David. If we go to uh, over to sucking. Samuel, the 24th chapter, to tell you what, what happened here. But over here, it, well, what, what happened really, let me tell you, let me get, get started here. Um, what happened, David had sinned and brought hardship on God's people. Some 77,000 men have lost their life because of David. But David acknowledged his sins, acknowledged God, and God forgave him. And he goes to make a worship, um, make a sacrifice unto the Lord. And he's at the temple now. As we started, uh, first, I'm going to start at verse 2. It said, that, uh, Oh Lord, this is David. Oh Lord, I cry out, uh, I cry, I cry out to you. And you heal me. Yeah. When we begin to cry out to the Lord, yes, sir. God will move. Come on. You know, and Isaiah tells us that that by his strike we'll heal. Yeah. He's a healer. Yes. Verse 3. Oh Lord, you brought my soul from the grave. You kept me alive. But I should not go down to the pit. David's on the very edge of death. Mm. He was almost gone. Come on. But God mm -hmm. kept him out of that pit. Amen. God is a merciful God. We've been at the edge. We've been almost gone. We've been down to the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on, and God reached out. Yes, yes, he did. He picked us up. Yeah. It's something about when we cry out to the Lord yeah. in our misery. God comes on the scene. Come on, come on, come on. He goes on down. He begins to 
Praise the Lord. Yeah. He said, praise the Lord, you, you saints, saints of him. Not only praise him, but give thanks yes, the remembrance yeah. of his name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Give him praise. Mm. Give him glory. Yeah. Give him thanks. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. For his anger mm. is but for a moment. Mm. God just don't stay mad with us. Mm. When we ask for forgiveness, God forgives us. Come on now. He cleans us up. Yeah. His favor is for life. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. David got his favor back. Yes. His position back. Uh -huh. Because yes. God is a merciful God. Yes. Oh, God is a merciful God. Yes. His life, his favor is for life. Yes. For life. Yes. Not for just a few days or a few years, but for life. Yes. His favor. Yes. We got the favor of God tonight. We all have messed up and come short. Come on, yes. Hallelujah. But we got the favor of God. God just keep picking us up. Cleaning us, cleaning us up. Getting us back on the right track. track. Weeping may endure for a night. Sometimes we have to cry. Sometimes we have to just moan to our God. God is a merciful God. Hallelujah. Weeping may endure for a night. Just for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. God will take care of our sins when we lay our burdens at his feet. God is a merciful God. Oh, I thank him tonight. Thank him for his goodness. Now. And his love. Yes. David somehow he managed a song of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, and then I just get a, get a praise off. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, I know it, it's gonna be all right. Oh, yeah. oh, I feel my hip coming now. Yeah. God is a merciful God. Yeah. Oh, we don't deserve it to, to be yeah. here tonight, no God. But God is long suffering. Yeah. But when we, when we begin to call on him, yes, sir. Hallelujah. hallelujah, God will come on the scene. Yes, sir. David mm. acknowledged his sins. Yes, sir. He didn't even know what he had done. Uh -huh. And he just acknowledged his sins. Yes, said, I've done wrong. Uh -huh. And God, they're ready to forgive him. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. But uh -huh. God had to punish him. Yeah. He had to punish him. That's why he took the 70, the, 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 the men, the 77,000 men here. <laughs> He had to punish. But David stepped in the gap for the people. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You know what he said? Over in Samuel, uh, the, uh, 25th, the, 20, the second chapter, 24th chapter. Then David spoke to the Lord mm -hmm. when he saw the angel of the Lord striking the people and said, Surely I have sinned. I have done weakly, weak, wickedly. But those sheep what have they done? I pray you, I pray your hand, I pray that you be against me and my father. In other words, David stood in the gap for the people. He didn't want God to strike anymore. And that's why David went to the altar, amen, and gave sacrifice, amen, and began to call on God and tell God that God, he exalted God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Psalms 126 and 5 says, Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Mm. Weeping mm. all night is common for the restless heart. But when we lay those burdens, at the feet of Jesus, the son of righteousness. Joy comes in the morning to relieve us of that burden. Oh, thank you tonight, Lord. Thank you for your goodness and your love and your mercy. But being a right now, God, hallelujah. He's a fixture. He's a healer. He's a 
anything that you want him to be. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I thank you tonight. Oh, hallelujah. So many times. So many times. Hallelujah. The pain. The disappointment. Hallelujah. Seems like things just won't go right. But sometimes, if you can just must up a praise and take, begin to worship him, yes, sir. hallelujah, God will move on the scene yes. and just bless us. Yes, hallelujah. Oh, he's a burden lifter. Yes, oh, I thank him tonight. Yes, Lord. I thank him, hallelujah. Yes, when the children of Israel were bound down in Egypt mm -hmm. and when God brought them out, yes. hallelujah, yes. he brought them out with gladness. Yes, hallelujah. And when they when they got at the Red Sea.